Hey there, train fans. Thank you so much for being here. I'm Chris Bachman. This is my channel, Other Side of the Tracks. Uh, if you haven't seen all my videos, I got into trains last year. I first actually bought my daughter a train set. Uh, I had lost my dad and uh, fondly remembered uh, doing trains with him when I was a little boy, so I thought that would be something really cool uh, to do with her, just kind of remembering my dad. And in that uh, Frozen 2 Lionel Ready to Run set came the little instruction booklet, but also uh, in there was this little flyer for the LCCA, the Lionel Collectors Club of America. And at the bottom here was this really cool looking Texas Special uh, Switcher set. And I thought, wow, that looks pretty sweet. As I'm living here in Texas, I probably need to get one of those for myself. So where better to look? than uh, a site that has a huge selection of goodies at reasonable prices. Trains.com, baby. That's Trains with a Z. So that's where I got this set from. I've had it around for a while, but, uh, you know, I've realized that uh, next month will be the one-year anniversary of my channel, and I'm uh, about to hit 100 episodes, and uh, my subscriber base uh, keeps steadily growing, and I'm grateful to all those that have subscribed. If you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and do so right now. So uh, I was saving this for uh, kind of that anniversary or special occasion, but uh, I, just, I just couldn't wait anymore. So let's go ahead and check it out. So over uh, the months, I've gotten a few items from trains.com. Uh, I've shown a few, but I uh, haven't gotten to everything yet. And in starting my uh, collection, uh, initially I kind of went crazy just buying a little this, little that, things that I thought looked cool. But then I quickly realized I gotta just I just stay focused on certain categories because uh, you can have unlimited ones but only you know limited beans. <laughs> so, cranes aren't uh, the cheapest of hobbies, so I decided okay, Texas Special number one, Strasburg number two, Yingling, certain political items. So that's uh, where I've really focused. Uh, well, some other small things like uh, what I could find for New Hope and Ivy Lane. Uh, recalling my days in Pennsylvania. So, okay. Here we go. LCCA. Cow and calf set. So, yes. Last year I went ahead and signed up for the LCCA. So, I am a member before I even signed up for the TCA. But I went ahead and uh, got this set from trains and also got a couple other items to go with it. The LCCA had cranked out uh, uh, various different items to go with this uh, switcher set. So here we have the Texas Special tank car from the LCCA with the Lionel locomotive oil. And the other item I got from this box from our friends at trains.com is the milk reefer car, which looks pretty nice. I gotta say the Texas special colors, that red and white, uh, are just very unique and really stand out on the layout. So let's go ahead and get a closer look at these. So not only is it because this set is Texas special and put out by the LCCA, but uh, it uh, reminded me of one of the uh, locomotives my dad and I would run back in the day. He had a post-war set from 1953 and uh, had a little switcher that we'd use quite often. So I still have my dad's trains and one day I'll get them out and check them out on the channel, but not quite yet, not quite yet. Here we go. We have our NW2 switcher, cow and calf unit. I believe this is a uh, traditional scale. This is a limited edition was only made available to the LCCA members. So I believe originally the set was just the cow and calf, uh, but then later they added a few goodies to the package when you ordered it. And uh, we have here those other goodies. We have the super cool and highly desirable diamond mint car. This is a very unique and uh, very sparkly. <laughs> Pretty cool. And they also included here some Texas Special themed billboards. At least the uh, inserts for such. So just one page. Yeah. And 
let's see here, and then the actual uh, billboard. There we go. Okay. Cool. All right, taking a closer look at the third billboard here, we can see some of the other goodies that the Lionel Collectors Club of America has released over the years for this uh, switcher set. You see here on the top row, the switcher, cow and calf. Uh, middle row, the diamond car, which came with this set. As well as the milk car, and on the bottom there, the tank car, which I purchased from Trains, along with the switcher set. We also have on the bottom a cool bay window caboose, and a flat car with a helicopter load, which looks pretty cool. So, even after uh, this postcard was produced, over the years, uh, over a decade later now, the LCCA is still cranking out cool things to go with this switcher set. In fact, at this very moment, LCCA members can go to their website and purchase for this Texas special set a, a box car with a walking brake man on it, which looks uh, pretty awesome. Here on the box, we see some of the features. It is uh, conventionally powered. Uh, we've got some uh, various rail sounds, speakers, LED headlights for the cow and calf unit. Fan German smoke, uh, die cast frames, etc. etc. So let's go ahead and take it out. Alright, let's see here. Well, the box looks in pretty good shape, so hopefully that means the switcher is in good shape as well. Oops. our instructions. Nice. And the other half. Okay. Interesting packaging. All right, let's see which one is which here. Okay, here we have our Switcher, cow. Okay. Nice. Ooh, this is really nice. Wow. This has some nice details on it. We got four pickup rollers. Got all the protective pads in place. Here's the reverse side. This looks really sweet. Okay, the back. Yes, yes with the uh, iconic single Lone Star. Texas Special Train Sets. Got a big speaker under there. Cool. I don't see any uh, running wear on these pickup rollers. That's a nice sign. All right, let's go ahead and get this calf unit out next. This just has that brand new smell. <laughs> you know it's a decade old. Okay. It's looking pretty sharp. Nice. Okay. Wow. Okay, well, looks in great shape. We'll have to see if they fire up. So the cow and switcher set look pretty cool in the pictures, but I got to admit, seeing them up close in person, they're even more awesome. <laughs> they have some great detail on them. The colors are very vibrant. They really stand out. So we got to go ahead and uh, take off all of our protective foam here. 
And uh, since this has been in storage for a decade, I'm going to go ahead and uh, give our cow and calf set some lubrication and grease just to make sure everything's rolling and running as it should. Uh, keep the trains nice and happy. Everything was uh, nice and snug in place. Okay. Alright, got everything from the switcher. And now for the calf. Lots of little handrails on it. Remember the order of where these go. <laughs> okay. Coming up this July, two thousand twenty three. The LCCA is having their annual convention right outside of Charlotte, North Carolina, where they have the Lionel headquarters, basically. And uh, I'm going to be flying out there to check out the LCCA convention. It will be my first convention with them, at least visiting them. And uh, my mom lives in Charlotte, so I'll be able to uh, visit her as well. So two for one. So that'll be interesting. I'll get to uh, take a tour of the Lionel headquarters and uh, go to their banquet. And, uh, lots of other events that they're having. So that'll be really cool. And for lubrication purposes, I do like the LaBelle uh, 107 and 102 here for the, uh, the gears. So very happy with these. I highly recommend it. Okay, looking at the engine, the cow unit. It's about 12 inches in length. Uh, this uh, rear smokestack is the one that has the heating element for uh, the smoke. According to the manual, you put in 10 to 20 drops the first time and about 10 every time thereafter. Uh, you have a few uh, handrails, uh, pretty basic uh, wire rails that they've added on here. Uh, got a nice looking bell here, it doesn't move or anything. But uh, yeah, it's pretty solid construction. Uh, this walkway is uh, plastic, but that's okay. The cab windows here are somewhat translucent, uh, so we don't have any kind of uh, figures or anything in there, but uh, we do get a little illumination. We do have these little uh, panels here that fold out, which is pretty cool. And then on the back of the cab here, we do have some additional... Uh, Handrail detail, we have our uh, light here. Now looking at our calf unit here, lengthwise, just like the locomotive cow, it is uh, about 12 inches in length. While there's no powered motors on the calf, uh, it does have pickups to do uh, illumination of the lights. There's no heating elements, so no smoke out of it. So these stacks are just purely for decoration. Uh, we do have uh, our little handrails here and on the back side of it uh, we do have uh, our lights okay up next we have the Texas Special Diamond Mint car so let's go ahead and take a closer look here I've always liked mint cars but this has got to be one of the best mint cars <laughs> Lionel has put out it's really nice looking. Here's the uh, side of the box there. These usually go for a few bucks on eBay. And this mint car is also lighted. So that illumination will really make all those uh, Diamond sparkle inside there. Wow. There's our top. So, of course, it's traditional scale 
an 027 size car. But nonetheless, it looks pretty cool. We've got two pickup rollers on it. International Diamond Supply Company. Yeah, we're really interested to see how this looks uh, with the lights on. This was in the box, the diamond car. Uh, hopefully, some of, if not all of the three lamps are functional. Because uh, it sounds like they're going to be a mega pain to replace uh, if the light bulbs are broken. All right, well, before we proceed any further, let's go ahead and see if this locomotive fires up. The calf unit is unpowered. And we have one motor and the switcher. So let's see what happens. Whoa, <laughs> it's going. So yeah, according to Lionel, the cow and calf have a 031 minimum curve, but I suspected they might work okay on my 027 inner loop. Let's go ahead and proceed here with our next item. We have the tank car here. It's nice to have these in a factory new condition. Very glad to have found them on uh, trains.com. Add them to the collection here. Everything in pristine mint condition. Pretty cool. 2013 date. The diamond car has a 2012 date. Switcher 2013. Calf 2012. <laughs> Well, the tank car has a pretty basic construction. We have this uh, metal platform here on either end, handbars, brake here, the ladder platform on top. They are metal construction. Basic bar here. So nice and simple, but uh, seems pretty durable. The trucks are sprung, which is nice. So we'll go ahead and get these trucks uh, lubricated up since they've been sitting around for a decade. Okay, the final item we got from the trains.com giant box of goodies is the Texas Special Milk Car. 2011 date. Oh yes, this is from the um, convention that year that the LCCA had in Dallas. So, I think maybe that 2011 convention uh, and the response to these uh, Texas-themed items um, perhaps led to uh, the development in 2012 and 13 of these cool Texas special cow and calf switcher units and all the other accompanying cars that went with the set. Ooh, I don't want to rip this paper in half. Yeah, and these... Modern era train boxes, they use this paper thin cardboard, so you do have to be a little careful, otherwise, you're going to destroy your package. Alright, here we go. Alright. Let's see here. Oh, it's taped. Still got the tape. Cool. Oh, we got tape on all four sides that is locked in there. There we go. Ooh, that looks really nice.
Some nice detailing on the doors. This still has its original tape here. Here we go. Our Texas special milk car. I don't know if a milk car ever looked this good. This one, the springs on the trucks are purely for decoration. Uh, that's okay. Here we got the underside. We do have uh, a few extra detail items that have been added, so that's good. These ladders, we got some uh, walking boards up on top. Here's our end. So this is really cool looking. All right, well, we'll go ahead and uh, there's some little bumpers. <laughs> Give this some lubrication and we'll go ahead and add it to our set here and check it out. All right, I put some lubrication on these axles, and while I was doing that, uh, this wheel set just uh, popped right out. So I uh, slipped it back in there, but we'll definitely have to be uh, careful with these crooks. All right, we got our Texas Special items on the tracks here. Uh, I'm going to add to it this uh, little boxcar behind me here, which is the Lionel uh, Art boxcar for the Texas Special. While it's not from the LCCA Texas Special series, it's Texas Special themed, so I'm just going to add it on there uh, for fun. I've done a video previous on this uh, specific car. Uh, if you want to see more of the Texas Special freight cars, uh, in particular from the LCCA and uh, other things that have been put out, uh, I might have uh, acquired one or two of them over the last uh, year or so. so Stay tuned for future videos. We'll expand upon this text special cow and calf set brought to you exclusively from the LCCA. And um, before we get started with uh, running our train here, uh, if you haven't already done so, please like and subscribe to the channel. And I am on Patreon, which is the other side of the tracks. So uh, I'm not a wealthy person by any means. I'm in the landscape industry, so I do what I can. I have to limit myself to very specific categories because uh, I only have so much of a budget. So if you'd like to support us, I would really greatly appreciate it. And we can uh, explore lots of other neat items uh, together here and uh, share this, uh, not just for purely entertainment, but I try to put a lot of details out there for uh, information uh, so people can research, know what's available, uh, item numbers, pricing, where I got them from. So as a, a tool, uh, I know when I uh, am looking for some things, uh, sometimes information can be very hard to find. So Anything I do to help the uh, community and uh, other train collectors, uh, it's, it's, it's cool. So I'm glad to be of assistance. I do have an email address uh, in the link uh, video description. So you can always reach out to me if you have questions, concerns, or whatnot. And uh, you can always comment on the YouTube channel as well. Okay, well that's enough talking. Let's go ahead and get this train rolling. Oh, hey, uh, by the way, this Texas Special Art Box car also got it from trains.com. So. It's appropriate to run with these other trains items.
Okay, folks, there we have it. The Lionel LCCA Cow and Calf Texas Special Limited Edition set, along with the Diamond Mint Car, Tank Car, Milk Car, and we also threw on for fun our Lionel Texas Special Art Box Car. As I mentioned, uh, stay tuned for future additions uh, to this awesome set. It's uh, quite great looking. I'm so happy to have it here on the layout. And uh, after uh, uh, a long delay, finally being able to uh, bring it out and uh, share it with you all. Uh, again, uh, please like and subscribe. Check out our other films. And we'll see you next time. Take care.